Welcome to this lesson on Flutter Embedded on how to run your executable on the Raspberry Pi. We're going to cover four steps so that you can automatically on boot have your embedded system, you know, fill up your five inch or seven inch touchscreen. This is a recap of the equipment I'm using. I'm going to put it also in the description. And here's the software. If you haven't installed and built your first app, um, you need to do the software and equipment. Okay, let's get started. Number one, how to build your project for, how to um, build it for execution on your Raspberry Pi. So assuming you've, you've got the code and you can, I've got uh, a couple of tutorials on this. Now that you've got it, you've run it, you've debugged it, you type in flutter build Linux space dash dash release. Depending on your system, heat sink, power supply, SD card speed, uh, this could take, take quite a while, especially if it's a bigger project. So instead of having you watch this thing run, I'm going to cut back in when it's finished. Okay, now when it's finished, we have no errors. And down there at the bottom, it shows build Linux ARM64 release bundle and the name of the executable. Okay, so going into the desktop, going into the file manager, I'm going to show you where the executable, the binary is. Build Linux ARM64 release Bundle. Let me click on bundle there to get that to show. And there it is. That's the binary executable. Okay, you can run that from the desktop just to test it. And that's what I'm going to show you here. It, it's just a quick sanity check before you do everything else. Make sure you don't have any issues. So you just right click execute and there you have it now the next section I'm going to show you if you try to move the binary executable and how to solve this so you can run it on your embedded system so first let's move this binary executable to the desktop just to show you what happens so you think hey this is great I'm gonna run this uh, when I boot up the system and it's gonna work fine uh, it, it won't and I'm gonna show you let's go into terminal and I'll show you why it won't work so let's maneuver our way over to the desktop And then it's dot forward slash GPIO, you know, the file name. And there's the error. It can't find library flutter, Linux GTK. It can't find it. Well, I'm going to show you how to solve that. And it's pretty straightforward. And it's in the flutter documentation. If all else fails, read the documentation. They tell you that if you're going to do this, you need to take everything in this bundle. If you're going to move it somewhere and run it as something you're going to boot up on a, on a system because it's missing these files it's looking for all the stuff that's in the bundle folder. So let's go ahead and copy the bundle folder and put it on the desktop and check it out and see if it's going to work as expected. All right, open up a terminal window. 
I've moved it so let's move over to the desktop and we've got to get to the bundle I forget the exact um, path but we got to get over to the GPIO underscore LED one more oh there dot forward slash GPIO underscore LED that's how you execute it and there you have it now I've got a debug print statement in this so that's what you're seeing that's what you're seeing because it's actually working okay now the the you, what good is this if you boot up the system and the the person that needs to use it has to open this up all the time well there's a way to automatically open it up in the raspberry pi os so the first thing we got to do is go into terminal and we've got to find I'm Alitech, you might be Pi, I whatever your your root is. And you gotta do dash A so you're looking for hidden. Um, you want this dot config. And that is where you're looking for auto start. If there's a directory or a folder called auto start, you don't need to do the next step. But if it's not here, we need to make a directory. Now the way the Raspberry Pi OS is set up, it uses, it looks for this auto start. So we're going to make a directory called auto start. And in this directory, uh, let's go on over into auto start. We're going to make the file that the system looks for to run your Flutter application at, at boot above the desktop. So sudo nano and you name the first part anything you want. My file is gpio led dot. Now the last part has to be desktop. Okay, now follow along with what I'm doing here. Um, if I can type desktop entry brackets type equals application, no spaces, application, sorry, name equals, and this is any name you want. And then this is the one where you're going to have to get the path. So EXEC equals, now let me go over and get the path. I'll show you the shortcut by using the file manager. I'm dragging it over. I've got multiple screens open. So we're going to find that executable. Build. Linux, ARM64, release, bundle, and then right click on that and then copy path. And then paste it. That's the path you need. If anything goes wrong, this will be it if you don't get the path right. So go all the way to the executable and we got to give it the command to start it, which is dot forward slash and then control X and Y to save it. I'm going to check it just to show you, give you one more look at it. Um, I just use the up arrow key and then desktop entry type application GPIO and then the full path and the dot forward slash to run the executable. Now here's where you would reboot, but because I'm recording the screen, I'm not going to reboot. Now I used my camera to film this because I couldn't figure out any way to show you. So sorry for the poor quality. It's going to boot up the desktop. So that wraps up this video. Hope that helps and stay tuned. Subscribe. More to come.